It's Bristol, baby, and we're throwing it back to 1992. Not dirt, we're back on the concrete when they went to concrete in 1992. Totally different race than we've seen at Bristol in a long, long time. Every team out there was put in a situation where they had to manage tires. They had to manage the race and they had to manage the expectation. Speed was not what it was about. Aggression, not what it was about at Bristol. Who would have thought you would ever go to Bristol and it not be an aggressive race? It was not an aggressive race. But what we saw was smart driving, tire management, and a guy who had the experience to capitalize on it. Sunday afternoon, we saw an artist, and that artist's name was Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin run to the limits of his tires, but never over the limits. That's a hard, hard thing to do. It's hard to be that patient. That's why Denny Hamlin has won so many races. That's why Denny Hamlin is a Hall of Famer. Believe me, a Hall of Famer. That's why Denny Hamlin, whether he ever wins a championship or not, will be one of the greatest race car drivers ever to set his rear end in a car because of what you saw Sunday afternoon. He painted the outside, he painted the inside. He painted around people, he painted in front of people. He did everything he had to do. And in the end, he did it. Not his team, his team got him out in time, don't get me wrong, but this was all Denny Hamlin. And I wanna say this, this is not something you young guys, as we saw with Ty Gibbs uh, and with Christopher Bell and all these other guys, this is not something you learn on a simulator. You actually have to sit in a race car and learn how to drive this way. Denny Hamlin learned those lessons. I've said for Denny Hamlin to stop saying this, but I'm going to give him the right to say it after yesterday's race, and I'll paraphrase. He beat your favorite driver. Thumbs up to Denny Hamlin, an artist at Bristol.